and welcome to today's Angel Digital Report. I'm Patrick O'Neill, and it's been a while since we've had an opportunity to, to talk about Angels baseball when they report to play for the first time in 113 days. And of course, on everybody's mind is the coronavirus, the safety protocols that will be put into place, especially Mike Trout and Joe Madden who did their first Zoom press conference, which will be the norm the entire season. And Mike certainly has a lot on his mind with his wife, Jess, expecting their first child this August. And Mike's concerns were at the forefront. Honestly, still don't feel comfortable. Um, you know, obviously with the, with the baby coming, um, there's a lot of stuff going through my mind right now, my wife's mind, my family, just trying to be the safest and most cautious way to get uh, through a season. Um, you know, I'm just, I, I've told Billy, I told a bunch of the guys, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. I gotta, I gotta be really cautious these next few weeks. Um, so I think the biggest uh, thing is, you know, obviously I don't want to test positive and I don't want to bring it back to my wife. Um, you know, I've, we're, we've thought hard about all this, uh, you know, still thinking about all this. It's, uh, it's a tough time, tough, tough situation we're in. Everybody's in. And, um, you know, everybody's got a responsibility in this clubhouse to, you know, social distance, stay inside, wear a mask, and, um, you know, keep everybody safe. Well, there is trepidation. Of course there is. Uh, among a lot of people, both in the industry and not. And so uh, we want to, like I said, we're going to be very honest. I will say this, though. The protocol in place has really been well thought out. I've I've uh, been very impressed uh, with the layers, the different layers involved. And uh, my goodness, they they had to sit down for a while and, and figure all this out. It's going to take us a bit to get through the um, uncomfortable, inconvenient nature of the day and make it become more normal. But uh, it's pretty impressive how MLB kind of uh, put this all together. Okay, pleased to be joined now by Angels TV analyst Mark Gubasa. Well, Gooby, certainly, I guess it was to be expected that there would be a level of concern for everyone. But was there any surprise at, at really how serious Mike Trout is about this situation regarding the coronavirus and safety? No, Patrick, I thought what he said today was what probably everybody's feeling, not only in the baseball community, but in, in the country itself and the world. So, when Trotty ever has anything to say, especially as profound as this, I think everyone listens. And I, what I take out of this too, Patrick, is now everyone's listening to this on the team, around the team, and thinking, you know what? We all have to do whatever it takes to make sure everyone is safe. We know Trotty and Jess are, are, are due with the baby there in August, but it's all about everyone doing their part. And I think when Trotty speaks, it speaks volume. And I, and I think that was the right tone to have for Trotty, knowing that, he, he has some concerns, like we all do. But I think that what Trotty said today was perfect to set that environment here now as we go forward yeah. with the camp opening up today. And, Mark, also he has concerns about when they go on the road for, for 30 games and how, you know, some of the younger single players are allowed to go out to dinner. I mean, uh, this is going to be kind of a step-by-step -step process. But, but Joe Madden said this is up to everybody to be the very best teammate at this moment. Yeah, and that's what you have to do. Everyone has to be a leader. And that means – from the Trouts to Albert Pujols, all the way down to the youngest players on the team. We can all be a leader, not only for this sport, but for this country in general. If you make the right decisions and do the right things all the way through, then we have a chance to have a full and incredibly fun baseball season. But it's all set by what the players do, both on the field and away from the field, determines how successful the season is going to be. In that presser, Mike also mentioned um, how difficult it's going to be to, to not have that bond in the clubhouse where you're playing cards, where you're hanging out on the couch, watching the highlights on, on TV. There's going to be so much separation. But again, it's part of the challenge that everybody is going to have to be part of. Yeah, I mean, you know, baseball, you know, you've been around a long time, Patrick, and same thing with me. I mean, you just, it's that, that high five, that camaraderie. As soon as you see them, that's the first thing you want to do. Give a hug, give a high five, and hey, how's everything going? But you're just going to have to do it like we've all been doing for months now from a distance, and everyone will figure it out. Hey, everyone figured out that 20-second pitch clock in the minor leagues. Everyone figured out how to stay in the batter's box. It takes a little bit of time. That's why you're going to see these first four or five days before they start, you know, scrimmage games amongst each other. That's the important thing, just to be able to get a feel for how it's going to be as far as a teammate 
yet you got to have your distance from each other all the way through. Instead of, um, you know, crafty handshake, they'll come up with some socially distant dances and some dabs and uh, I'm <laughs> you know they're going to do that, Patrick. Oh, yeah. You know, and me and you will be doing all these shows as we go along, yeah. I'm sure. We better, we better practice beforehand. Yeah. Um, and, and Joe, we're going to move on now to the next topic being a 60-game schedule. Um, it's going to be so fascinating because every game, every game, and Joe mentioned it, right, is a playoff game. Is that is that how you would approach it? Yeah, we, we talked about this already, Patrick. And I love what Joe said. I mean, this you can just feel his energy. And it's a lot of positive energy with, as far as – getting that season started, how every game, every inning from that first game is a playoff game. You can't give away outs. You can't give away if a, if a pitcher, starting pitcher at the start of the game is struggling. You got to go, you know, but this is a playoff game. I can't wait for him to get going as far as a pitcher. So I, I love what's going. You might see guys, managers trying to do little things different now. Maybe you're trying to manufacture a run early in the game. The whole game is going to be different, but I, I love the fact that it is a sprint now, Patrick. It's no longer baseball is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Well, you know what? It is a sprint, and it's going to be fun yeah. to watch this happen. Uh, you know, when you were pitching and you pitched in some big games, you won a World Series, you started an ALCS game, you, you had some nerves. The, the stomach was going a bit. Can you imagine taking the ball every single time out, knowing that the season is on the line? You would have to get fired up for that. Yeah, I mean, when you look at, you know, even go back even to the last postseason, how focused you could see everybody. Every right. single play – ground ball your way, fly ball in the field, every pitch you make, every at-bat, every decision made by the manager, whether it's the bench coach or even the pitching coach, even the, the coach down in the bullpen, they got to be honest about how their, their, their guys are thrown in the bullpen because middle relievers, closers, all those guys in the bullpen are going to be huge. So communication, honesty, but the energy level is going to be so good. If you ever notice it in the month of September, everyone talks about the dog days of August. Well, that's the middle of the season this year how you kind of slowly struggle. But then September comes around, the focus is there for the postseason. Well, from the first game to that 60th game, that's the focus you're going to have as a player all the way through. I, you know what, Patrick? I don't, I don't want to be so crazy at this moment, but I'm excited about what we're going to see because I love when there's stress on players as far as winning a game, that very first game, because, hey, you don't win a playoff, you don't win it, go to the postseason with games in April. Well, you know what? Now when we're seeing games in July or like it is games in April, they mean something more so than we've we ever seen before. No doubt about it. Joe Madden also mentioned that they might want to pipe in some crowd noise so they don't have to listen to you and Victor on the call. But your enthusiasm might get the guys fired up. <laughs> <laughs> you might hear me screaming, Patrick. You know that with a, with a great swing. Uh, there's so many. I mean, when I look at this team, Patrick, it's so easy to be excited about. I mean, we have some of the best players in all of baseball oh, yeah. and around the world. When I mean, you think about it, this team has so many people that everywhere, globally, everyone knows their name. So right. I can't wait for this to go. And you might hear me screaming, Patrick. I know oh, at some you. point. Well, 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 that leads me to the, to the next topic, which is uh, Mike Trout. He's a three-time MVP. He's reigning. And uh, the biggest competition, according to the odds makers, might be on his very own team. And Shohei Otani and Anthony Rendell. I mean, when you think three guys that have a chance to be the MVP of the American League, and Mike Trout is always that Ken. He's the best player in baseball by far. And you look at his numbers, what, uh, over 60 games, he had 27 home runs his best. He also hit back in 2013, 385 in a 60-game stretch. So you always got to think Trout is, is the favorite. But when you look at and, and Anthony Rendon, what he did over the last couple of seasons, averaging 44 doubles a season, the last two for the Nationals, he is so cool under those big moments. We talked about playoffs being the first game. Well, you have the perfect guy there. But I think Shohei Otani, go back to what he did as far as a starter a couple of years ago, Patrick. He had 10 starts. If you figure it out right now with a six-man rotation, that's 10 starts. He was 4-2 and two with an ERA, ERA just barely over three. And he also averaged now in two seasons in the major leagues around 20 home runs, 61 RBIs, over 20 doubles and 10 stolen bases. He is the guy, if you talk about a true MVP, can pitch and win games, plus the guy get the ball out of the ballpark, Shohei Otani might be that MVP candidate where you always assume Trouty, and it's easy to do that. Same thing with Anthony Rendon, but Shohei Otani, boy, I'll tell you what, he can do so many things to help you win every single day. Yeah, and Anthony Rendon, listen, we'll be talking about him all year, and, and deservedly so, but a, a follow-on on Otani, who is who's bulked up, um, is so incredibly strong. We saw him deadlifting 495 pounds. Um, I don't know how much weight you were throwing around back in the day. I know it's a different time. How will that make him stronger on the hill, do you think? 
I always go back to what Nolan Ryan once told me way back in 89 at the All-Star game at the Big A. He goes, the most important part as far as a pitcher, we always think of throwing and mechanics. It's that lower part of your body, the strength of your lower part of your body. His legs are strong. His shoulders are certainly strong as well, but you could see what he was doing with those deadlifts. It's all about that core, that, that bottom part of the body to drive to the plate. That'll keep his arms strong. That'll also keep him comfortable in the batter's box as well. So he's doing everything right to go out and, and just have an incredible season. I can't wait to watch him perform. I can't wait to watch everyone perform this team. But those three guys you talked about, Rendon, Trout, Otani, boy, you're three MVP candidates all on one team on a short stretch that know how important every single bat and every game and every time on the mound for Shoei Otani. Well, by the way, if you were to try to deadlift 495 right now, what would happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you'll be doing this show by yourself for the next uh, <laughs> few weeks. Okay, doing. don't do it because I need you. Uh, <laughs> we're three you weeks know. three weeks away from, from opening day, and, and we're going to be here every single day, of course, with the uh, Angels digital report uh, from the Big A. We've got cameras there. Uh, we'll be on YouTube. We'll be on the, the Fox Sports West Twitter account, Facebook. We will have you covered, bringing you the best possible coverage. A very challenging time, but we're going to get it done. Gooby, can't wait to talk to you again. Let's do it tomorrow, maybe. Oh, Patrick, I can't wait. You know what? As we go along, progress more and more and more baseball stuff going on, it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to see. All right. That's Mark Gubiza. I'm Patrick O'Neill. Thanks for watching this Angels Digital Report, of course. We'll see you next time.